Hey, what's up? This is Sifu Cuddle, and for this video, we're gonna be working with the wall bag. Uh, now, I use a two section wall bag. If you use a one section wall bag or a three section wall bag, that's totally fine. Technique doesn't change. You can just modify it if there's highs and lows in the technique. For this particular one, we're only gonna be concentrating on one bag itself, so use the best one that's uh, for your striking and you're uh, comfortable with, okay? Now, three things I always mention before we work with the wall bag is number one, don't use sound as an indicator of correctness. Now, especially for this technique, we're gonna be striking with the fingertips, with the knuckles, and uh, really every position itself is very concentrated. So if you go for the sound of it, you're gonna be either pushing yourself too hard or you're gonna be striking with the incorrect position of the hand. So again, don't go for the sound of it. Louder doesn't mean stronger or better, okay? Number two, you wanna make sure that you don't rush the technique. Of course, as we start moving through on coordination techniques like today, you're gonna to be kind of pushing yourself to go a little bit faster, but you don't wanna like bounce off the bag because you're gonna miss half the training that the bag can provide, okay? Number three, don't wear down your hands, okay? We're not here to deform our hands, we're not here to scrape our knuckles up, we're not here to bruise our hands. If you cut your hands open or you bruise your hands, you're going to have to wait for that to heal before you can get back into training. So you will lose not only that amount of time, but it will also put you back at square one. It is much smarter to just take your time. Build little by little, okay? Now, today's technique is uh, pretty unique. This comes from one of my favorite Shaw Brothers movies. Uh, it, it's from Mad Monkey Kung Fu, so if you've seen that, it's, it's, uh, it's a fun movie, but they have this special way of training uh, four different strikes. Now, even though it's not really a traditional way of approaching using the wall bag, I really think it's a very valuable style of training because it involves different hand positions, but it also kind of reflects some of the one inch punch training that you see in Wing Chun, okay? Now I'm not gonna go into detail for one inch punch training. There's a ton of Wing Chun Sifus that are out there that can teach you with a lot more detail than I can. So if you're looking for one inch punch, check out some of their videos. But the concepts are very similar to this, and that is limiting the amount of space between the striking surface and the bag itself. So you do have to develop connection and coordination since we're using four different striking positions. Now, first one we're gonna use, and again, we're starting with the fingertips, so don't go way back. It's not about power here. This is a coordination drill. You're gonna start by jabbing the fingertips in. Now, I like using this position, but you can work with any position you want, all right? So we're working with the fingertips first, striking in. Now from there, um, as for coordination, don't pull back. Just bend the knuckles into a half fist position and drop the fist there. Once that connects, full fist position, connect right there, and then we're gonna follow up with uh, sometimes called the crane neck strike, or we're gonna be using the wrist itself to hit that very last one, okay? So, uh, again, fingertips, half fist, full fist, back of the hand, okay? One, two, three, four. Now, you can start developing power and try to go for a distance, but I find that if you can do this much closer, you're developing a lot more coordination. You have a lot to think about on the spot. So pop, 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 pop. It's fun to work with this one. Uh, again, it's a coordination drill uh, inspired by a movie, but sometimes that can provide some very solid training, okay? If you guys enjoyed this one, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And uh, if you have any comments, drop them in the, in the comment section down below. Check out all the social media stuff up on top, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Patreon. You can find me all there. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bam! Fist with a foe out.